In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a schematic in Riptrace. So let's get started. So this is the circuit I'm going to use as an example and show you how to draw this particular circuit in the schematic capture of Riptrace. So let's get started. So you can just go to the Riptrace launcher and click on schematic capture here, which will give you this window where you can draw the schematic. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the compounds in the default library of Riptrace and show you how to draw the schematic in this window. But when you are about to design a new project, I mean a PCB design project, make sure you use the correct library, I mean the compounds and footprint to avoid confusion after fabrication of the board. All right. So since there are a lot of compounds in the circuit, I cannot create, uh, I cannot test and create all the uh, required library for these components. But some components are already present in Riptrace. But I strongly suggest you, you to double check the components before placing it in the schematic area to avoid confusion after fabricating the board. All right. So the first step in the schematic is to place the titles and sheet setup. It's an optional step. It will be used to, you know, show uh, different information of the schematic, like who have drawn the schematic, the name of the project, the date which is drawn, and some other uh, information. So um, if I click on OK, just a minute. As you can see here, where you can draw the schematic here. If I go titles and setup again, I can have this as the standards here, like where you can give the information about the schematic here. All right, but this will be useful for people who are uh, drawing the schematic in multiple pages. But since we do have a small circuit here, I don't want it to present here. So I'm going to remove it. Okay, so next we are going to pick and place all the components from the library here in the schematic area. So I'm going to use discrete first new diodes right to build the I mean to create the bridge rectifier. So I need four diodes. So here a transformer is used in the circuit as you can see the image here but I'm going to replace this transform with a three pin connector where I can uh, get the output of the tra transformer and connect to the board using the connector here. The reason is transformer may occupy uh, larger space in the PCB so it's optional for you to use the transformer in the board or uh, use it as an external component. So for now I'm going to use a three pin connector so again I am repeating Make sure you use the correct library when you design a board. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to pick a random connector from the uh, library here. So which will be termed block headers. So as you can see the symbol here and it's the footprint, but you should use the correct footprint of the compound you will be using in real time. Make sure you check the uh, footprint dimensions before using it in the schematic. You can do that by going to the attached pattern here. Click on attached pattern, copy the pattern. By just dragging here and click on copy. Go to tools, pattern editor. So you should have the data, data sheet of the compound you are going to use in your board. So with this data sheet, you can compare the footprint we are going to uh, pick and place in the schematic, all right? So, so you can just go to the uh, pattern tools here, find pattern, click on all libraries, paste the name of the pattern we have copied and click on find pattern. So, so this is the pattern, click on open pattern now. So now that you can just compare this uh, pattern of Diptrace library with the compound you are going to use in real time. If it matches, 
you can use it in the schematic or else you need to create a separate library like I have shown in the previous section of the course right so for demonstration purpose I'm going to use this compound here so next is you should uh, pick and place all these components like I have shown in the circuit in the schematic and start wiring so again I will show uh, another demo on how to find a compound in uh, schematic so just go to all libraries so this is a uh, uh, 12 volt dual regulator power supply circuit where it can supply plus 12 volt using the LM7812 IC which is a positive voltage regulator and minus 12 volt using this LM7912 IC which is the uh, negative voltage regulator so I'm going to show you how to place these two ICs in the press type in the name LM7812 click on apply filter so let's wait for the system to filter out the compounds and show the compound we want in the area here so just close the filter again click on this and place it here so again you can go for LM7912 which is the negative voltage regulator click on apply filter so again you can see the compound here you can place it here you can use this space bar to rotate the compound before placing so like that you can pick and place all this compound present in the circuit in the schematic area and start wiring the circuit using this symbol so since I have already finished the schematic I will open the schematic I have finished already and show you further steps from there alright for that I am just going to file open click on now click on open again ok so now you can see the schematic drawn here like shown in the image here so as I mentioned earlier I have used the transformer symbol here so if you use the transformer here it will be converted to a footprint in the PCB later as well so it will uh, occupy a lot of space in the board so for that I am going to use some connector here where we can get the terminals of the transformer connected to the uh, board using this connector so I am going to use a 3 pin connector here so I am just deleting the transformer and placing it here so again I am clicking on this pin and connecting it to the bridge rectifier and click on this center pin and connecting it to the ground alright so you can name the nets here for clear understanding while you are doing the routing and placement process in the PCB layout so I am going to click on net 4 and name it as G and D so this is called net 5 will be plus sorry plus 12 volt regulated power supply right regulated and this will be minus 12 volt regulated so similarly you can uh, rename the nets as per your convenience so it will be easy for you to uh, around the nets using the names here so after that we can save the schematic into an jpeg or bitmap file using this option called preview here so we can just click on save increase the scale as dpi and choose the format here if i click on ok the image will be saved right this is over and next is click on uh, important bill of material where you can show the values and reference designator of the schematic here you can add different tables like rf disk value 
and similar kind of uh, details you want but for now I'm just going to use ribdesk and value here if I click on place table we can place the table here in the schematic area itself you can also import the data into an uh, excel file again I can I will show you how it do it up so click on bill of materials so if you click on export to file it will be saved as a csv file right so the final step in the schematic is to verify it by doing the electrical rule check if I click on here no errors found you can set up the electrical rule setup here by clicking on the different options using here all right so these are the rules to check and click on ok so after finish drawing the schematic and verifying it we can save it using the control s shortcut so after saving the schematic we can directly click on control b or convert to pcb option here so it will convert the schematic into the pcb layer where you do placement and routing so click on ok again so you can see the respective symbols we have used in the uh, schematic areas converted into footprints so this will be the final uh, components you will see in the board in real time so in the next video i will show you how to draw the board outline place the components and start routing so hope you have got an idea of uh, schematic in deep trace if you have any doubts or if you face any troubles in drawing the schematic just go ahead and ask your doubts in the learn pcb design facebook group and i am always happy to help you so see you in the next video. Bye-bye.